Ronnie Shanae Jones. How'd you get into theater? Uh, I've never been involved with theater before, ever. You've never been in a show? Never. Have you ever been in any kind of show? Nope. Tell me about a meaningful interaction with an after work participant. I was looking for a place to live. I wasn't living here at the time of, of, the, of launch day. And I was coming back and forth from Washington DC to New York every, every Monday. And then, uh, well every Tuesday and then staying overnight and then leaving the following morning, Wednesday. So I was looking for a place to live eventually because I knew that New York was the place I wanted to be. And um, Max reached out to me saying that he had his, he needed somebody to sublet his room. And I was like, <laughs> me, I will sublet your room. I need this place. And so we worked everything out, and um, I just think that that is, and I just moved in there this Saturday, so I'm now a New Yorker, and I don't have to come on the bus all, the whole time and everything like that. So uh, um, that was meaningful, and it just highlighted the, how important the universe is and everything aligns to you know, make something happen for you if you put yourself out there, and just the, um, the kindness and the, uh, support that this community gives because if I hadn't have done this it I would still be looking for a place in New York probably giving up on my dream. How did you find out about After Work Theater? I was looking at jobs on playbill.com and I was searching 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 and I came across this uh, heading that said do you want to be in a musical and I was like heck yeah I want to be in a musical and then they said no audition necessary and I was like absolutely I'm doing that. What are you now? What am I now? In terms of, like, what you wanted what, to what, be. What I wanted to, ooh. Okay, so I used to work for the federal government, and I was an inspector, and I focused on, uh, inspector for Homeland Security, and I focused on counterterrorism, domestic terrorism, sharing of counterterrorism information, um, border security, aviation security. So it was a very a far cry from anything that I ever thought I was gonna do. I mean, it was very rewarding work. We did a lot of work with Congress and passing legislation and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool, but that's, that's where I have been. Right now, I'm just trying to switch it up. Where do you find your zen? Ooh, laughter. What song do you hear and can't help but get up and dance. I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. Absolutely. What is your dream role in a play or a musical? Alpha Bell. Oh, ah. So if you've never been in a show, you've never been part of a community of theater people, yes. What draws you to performing? The respect that I have for it. I think it's an extremely difficult task to sing, belt, do whatever, and dance, and just there's so many moving parts that you have to, to know, and it's just one of the most difficult things I've ever done, and I just commend everybody that does it, and I saw that from a very young age. What was the first show you ever saw? Cats. What was the last show you saw? The last show I saw was Dames at Sea. If you could get the lyrics of any song visibly tattooed on your body, what would they be? Feed your fire to take you higher. From Kiki Boots. I love Raise You Up. That Actually, I would get like the whole feed of fire to take you higher, will light you up. Like just it seems so happy and just be who you want to be. There's so many things from that one song. It was like, be who you want to be. Feed your fire to take you higher. Just everything all over the place. And I already have tattoos. So. Who would you thank in your Tony acceptance speech? Um, hands down, my mother and father simultaneously. Hands down. Why? Oh man, they are just the most supportive people that on the planet. And, and they, they always say they wish they could do more. And I'm like, no, you have given me, first of all, an immense amount of love and care and just constantly telling me that I could do anything that I want and pushing me to be better. And just, they definitely made me the, the, the woman that I am today. 
if I didn't have them and the type of people that they are in my life, I don't know who or what or where I would be, so definitely them, first and foremost.